Marcellus. Yeah. Marcellus. For real. I'm going to start with you. Grow up. I got to ask you this. Yes. Is Lamar more likely to take a step forward <laughs> or back this season? Step forward. Stop playing. It's the wrong dude if you're ever going to bet against Lamar Jackson. This is a guy. Let's just go all the way back to his career at Louisville who's only missed one game being this mobile running quarterback that should have been a wide receiver, has only missed one game, so he's durable. Now let's talk about the production in terms of him getting better every single year in major statistical categories. Every single year. Completions, completion percentage, passing yards. I mean, the guy continues to evolve his game every single year he steps on the field despite the expectations of him being great when he steps on that same field. So, I love me some Bill Polian, but what happened when Bill Polian was able to address Lamar Jackson in terms of criticism, everyone started to hold their breath for that first or next errant throw. And that just gives everyone confirmation bias to look at him through a lens that is more negative than necessary. This is a guy who last year in the offseason went out there and said, I need to focus on my accuracy, change his mechanics, and he improved it by almost eight percentage points. This year, he's saying, I got to hit the deep ball outside the numbers. Beware with the speedsters they have on their roster. If he's able to take that next step forward like he has in the past, everyone's in trouble. But let me give you some numbers because a lot of people are saying, man, he set historical records last year. He was the MVP. He ain't going to be that great next year. He can't be the MVP again. Oh, contraire, mon frere. Look at these NFL MVP back-to-back -back winners as I have on this list right now. Starting with a, a Peyton Manning right there. Um, Peyton Manning went out there, 4,200 pass yards, 29 touchdowns. People are like, that's amazing. He's not going to do that again. Um, next year, 4,549 <laughs> touchdowns. Led the NFL, which was a record at the time. He did it again. I'm not even going to bore you with that. Brett Favre, people was like, oh, you won 11 games. You're not going to do any better. 13 games the next year. 39 pass touchdowns increased every year. So, if you look at this list, Joe Montana did the same. Jim Brown was just bigger than everybody, so we get that. The point of it is, you can be great and actually greater than great. And that's what we're going to expect, at least I am, for Lamar Jackson. I like where you're coming from with that, Marcellus. I'm going to take it a different step, but say the same thing. I, I certainly believe he can take a step forward. But I don't think we have to wrap his stepping forward totally into a statistical measurement. I like right? Yeah. Like You think about this. He is. You use the word evolution. I love that word because if you're going to continue to be the best that you can be at anything in life, you got to constantly evolve. And so this is one of those young men that is aware of who he is. He's aware of where he wants to go with what he's doing. And he believes in his team in that manner. And his team believes in him. I look at Lamar Jackson and he comes into this season I don't look at him to run for over 1,200 yards. You know why? Because the evolution of Lamar Jackson will say, I can be more efficient in my running. If I need to run, I'll run. If I need to throw the ball, as his, his quarterback coach mentioned, listen, we know he has a target on his back. Mm. We know that, that what he's going to do now, everybody's going to look for him to be a better passer. But the reality of it is, is that he does not have to be a better passer as it applies to the way people are using it in the context that they're trying to frame him. All, all Lamar has to do is continue to evolve, be more effective and efficient as he learns more about what these defensive schemes are trying to do. It's a copycat league. You figure one out, you figured out half of them. You figure out two or three, you figured out all of them. And that's the reality of it. So I think he takes a step forward. Don't base it off of his, uh, off of his stats this year. Yeah. Gentlemen, I'm not necessarily going to disagree with you because <clears throat> I'm smarter than that. But, <laughs> but what I am going to do is I'm kind of going to throw a, a wet blanket, so to speak, on all of this. Because I don't think Lamar Jackson will uh, take a step back. I don't think he'll regress. I don't think that's the case. But I do think that Lamar may stay put as everyone else steps forward. Y'all remember the game, Mother May I? And you're all standing oh, in the yes, Remember Mother that May game, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'll be standing ahead, and, and Marcellus will, Mother May Mother I, May. take three steps forward, and Marcellus will take <laughs> these giant <laughs> leaps and bounds. Yes. And I'll look to my right, and I'll look to my left, and all of a sudden, my lead has dissipated. I think that's what will happen with Lamar Jackson. I think you've given defensive coordinators nothing but time. Mm. And not only time, you've given them nothing but 
quarantine time. Mm. Well, they're probably sitting mm. at home. It's either I'm going to study <laughs> film or, 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 or go have to go have to garden or go have to do the dishes or go have to take out the trash. So you know what? The honey do list. You know they're going to hide themselves and, 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 and secure themselves in their offices and just watch tape and watch tape. And like you said, LeVar, it is a copycat league, in fact. But the difference is... Now you have coordinators who will have studied Lamar Jackson who will have adjusted. Now, I will say this. Just because you call the right call and just because you get a defender in the right spot, mm. it doesn't mean that you're going to win that matchup <coughs> with Lamar. That's mm -hmm. not what I'm saying. But I do think the defenses, defensive coordinators, defensive players and schemes will adjust and therefore Lamar won't have the same crazy head and shoulders advantage he had last year. Look, man, look, you scared. I'm just going to say it. I got to be frank right now. You scared. <laughs> they watching film all this whole <laughs> offseason. The Bulls are on you. His, his own mentor, his, his quarterback coach said that to him. He said, hey, yeah, I get it, and I'm watching film too. Guess what? You, when you want to move... I can move, too. You move, I move. Just, Just like, like that. that. Come on, uh -oh. man. Like, I don't give a damn if these coaches say, oh, we figured you out. Oh, you don't know my next move. And trust me, it's going to be faster than your move and whoever you put out there. This is an interesting topic in terms of, like, how it hits you yeah. in terms of your confidence and really your foresight in terms of confidence and what you want to attain. So many people get up the mountain. Teachers used to always say that. It's easy to get an A, but it's hard to keep an A. And I used to be like, no, it's kind of hard to get an A. And <laughs> like in this class, and once you get an A, you're supposed to internalize that confidence and say, oh, these boys are going to never catch me. But somehow in this world, we like let the pressure and the gravity pull us back down to where we think inevitably we're going to just fall into the pack. Hell no. This, I am doing a show right now. With a 29-year-old yes, host. And I mm. remember when I was a 35-year-old host, people were patting me on the back because they were like, man, we've not seen that. He's already Sean McVay in it up here, doing it mm. earlier than I did. But even greater than that is that we're the first daily show that I have ever seen that has mm. two athletes hosting it. Talk so about it. hold on. If your mind is not hell-bent on breaking new ground all the time, then you're not going to be great. But Lamar Jackson is great. You know why? Because his mind is hell-bent on always breaking new ground. The dude's going to ball.